Hey guys, it's Road228 here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on OBS Studio. Um, what some pe some people struggle with it because they don't get the concept of these sources down here, uh, which I'm going to try and explain to you. Um, so first, what you're going to end up with is nothing. I don't think you'll end up, you'll have nothing down here. The first thing you'll want to do is create a display capture. Now, the display capture will record whatever comes upon your screen. So what you'll see now is the display capture which I've already made. Now to do all of that you need, there's two different types, there's the display capture or there's the window capture which will uh, record a, a specific window. So I could have like multiple Google Chromes open and I can pick it to do, record a certain one while I'm not on it or something like that. Uh, there's the game capture where it will record a any full screen um, thing, well, anything that is full screen at the time, it will um, record. Um, but if you're going to, like, what I'm doing now is display capture, where it will literally record whatever is on the screen at the moment. As you can see, you can see the bottom uh, bar on the Windows 10 here. But what you want to, if you want to do either one, I recommend display capture. You would click this here and call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Um, and then here, this is the part. You would make sure this is on this, and you click OK, and there you go. You've then you've got your um, uh, display capture, and you can start recording and stuff. Now, like me, if you've got a mic, you're going to be wanting a. Let me just delete this a sec. You're going to be, or you want to be, uh, you want to have an audio input capture, which is anything which is getting inputted into the computer. What I mean by that is like the mic. So what's going on now is I am inputting a sound into like my mic, which is then getting sent to the computer, which is inputting something. So you would want to create an audio input capture. To do that, you simply go down here, audio input capture, click OK. And this is the part, right, depending on what you're using, like, I'm currently using my wireless stereo headset, and depending on what mic you're using, you'd want to use that. But because I've installed Realtek High Definition Audio, if I plug anything into my computer, like wired, I'll do that one which might be the option for you, but for me it's the wireless stereo headset, which I've got now. If you click that, you can then click OK, and then you've got your uh, audio input capture, which you're hearing from right now, which is me talking to you. Now, if you want, let's say you've got some music going on in the computer, and you want that to be heard, then you'd want something called an audio output capture, which is, it'll record any sound getting outputted from the computer. For example, music, like, okay, let's say if I put some non-copyrighted music on right now, um, uh, I, I don't know, um, let's just pick the other, this one. Now, you I guarantee need you, the light when it's burning low. you're hearing this right now, aren't you? Only miss the sun when it starts to snow, only know you love her when you let her go, but you let her go. Uh, uh, look, see, I remember when I met. And that's basically what the audio output capture does. If you do not have one of them, for example, let me just delete this. Yes. So now I've only got the input and the display capture. Now if I play this. You can't hear it properly. The only reason you could hear it basic then is because I'm listening through it through my headset and well, obviously, the mic is picking it up, so the audio input is picking it up. But, yeah, just make sure that you have an audio output. So, what depending on what one you're using, because I'm just listening out of my um, wireless headset, I would use this. But if I want to record from, like, the TV speakers, I want to go for this one, or whatever one you have. I'm guessing you'd have a Realtek one, or depending on what graphics card you have, it would be this one. But because I'm listening to my speakers, I'm going to record from this one. Um, and just make sure that if you're on Windows or whatever it is, just make sure that it comes out the right audio source. So because I'm listening, because um, I'm recording from my uh, headset, I want to make sure the sound is coming from my headset, which is down here. Um, there's not much else I could. T there's no, there's not really that much. Uh, the game capture. Yeah, you would go here, and if you have a full screen application, for example, if I was to launch a game now, let the game run for a few seconds, then come back to OBS Studio, and where it says mode here, um, 
I think, um, uh, a little thing would pop up here, I think, or, uh, you cap, yeah, that's it, capture a specific window, and then the window will come up here, so, let's say I want to, see, for example, Chrome is kind of like a full screen one, let's do it, hold on, come on, and then if I was to let it record that, it would then, well, record that as well, which is really good. Um, you can capture the cursor just in case, so if you're playing a game which wants a mouse, you re I recommend you using that one. Um, if you don't want to uh, capture a specific window, just capture any full screen. Let, let's say you have one full screen application open, then I'd recommend going that one. Um, there really isn't that much now to tell you. Because that's basically it. As long as if you've got your display capture working, which is going on right now, your audio input, which is my mic, and the audio output for listening to music, with your favorite dress on. then you're good to go. And then if you're going to record a certain game in full screen, then you simply add a game capture, and then you'll do a specific window, and you'll select the full screen window, which is completely good. Um, if I helped you, because a lot of people do not get how they can do some of the stuff. It took me a while to actually figure out how to get the audio from the computer to record. And then I found it after the audio output thing. Also, my mic had to figure that out. This way, I basically just figured it out all myself. And then I decided to look on YouTube and get a bit more information. You can add scenes. So, like, I'm, I don't really get it, but it's like... I think you could record multiple things at once, so maybe in scene one, you could record a game in audio, and then like in scene two, you could record maybe a web, like Chrome or something, but there's not that much, I don't think you'd need to use that. So this is basically what you would need, and then possibly a game capture. Um, if I've helped you, please leave a like. Um, if, if you're still stuck in anything, just comment, and I'll be happy to help you. And I'll see you in the next video.